Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now, something different today. I'm going to have a trip out. And we're going to meet wholesalers and hopefully get a lovely steak. Um, but before I do, I'd like to give a few people shout outs. Um, Ron Mack 95, uh, Great British Railways, Dan Myers and Miss Mary H. Dream. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And it will go to hopefully what I'm going to get now. If I can't get what I'm looking for, we'll get a few other goodies. And the plan is to come home and get the cooker on and uh, get cooking. So please come with me for the ride. So we're off to uh, Ulviston um, to the, uh, it's like a meat wholesalers. It's like a factory shop um, and they did deliver as well in the area. I've, I've been in once before, I've never bought anything. So it's it's a good well it's a 15 minute drive away so I'm just warming the car up and I've got my bodge tape and I'm going to strap my mobile phone to the windscreen. So I don't know if you can see um, we've had a bit of well ice and snow and the top of my street I'm on a hill it's it's treacherous and I have to say a massive thank you to a, a man who, who just comes out with a shovel um, and he just there's like salt buckets at the side at road and basically he just you know he just salts the road that goes down the hill so I've seen him a few times and waved at him and thanked him but what a top man an absolute top man for doing what he's doing and I've got to get down this hill now look at it this is a very steep hill <laughs> better concentrate another gorgeous day today cold though um, I hope you enjoyed the barbecue video. Um, I got lots of lovely comments off that video. Um, and I, th I thought the neighbours might have popped, popped their heads up, um, but they never. I would have invited them round. Um, although they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been um, able to have much because I only had one steak and two eggs. So this is a, a new bit of road that was built. Um, I've never been down it before, but we're coming into Ulverston, Croftlands. Um, we're going to come in, we're going to go th through the back door. Uh, points to note, uh, never go the back way, you don't know where you're going. You end up on untreated roads and uh, it's, it's not too, it's not too great. So I think we're on the right road, you wouldn't well, think I'd been in the army would you? I'd get lost on my own, the own, my own streets around where I live. N never take uh, a shortcut where you've never been before. But you think you know where you're going. I do it all the time. But, um, never mind. We're here now anyway. Just watch that uh, that pole there. Wow, that's about about eight inches deep. That's definitely a tire popper. So there used to be an abattoir here as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's still. I don't think it's still going anymore. My dad's mate used to work there. Used to um, used to tell us all kinds of stories. Wow, look at that one. To be careful around here that's the only problem with it when it you know you get frost and that unfortunately you get the potholes that, that come after it don't you found it at last we get back now so here it is i've got it um it was 15 pound <laughs> special offer there is the information on it there. Look, Ulverston Meat Company. Um, it's uh, 1.084 kg. Now, I've done a bit of research on this because I've never had one. Um, and the bone, it's been a culinary term. It's called Frenched. And basically, this is a large a ribeye steak. Um. It's supposed to be buttery in texture. So like I say, I've never had one. And I, I had to do, I have been on a search engine and I've had a look how to cook them because I can't, I can't do it in the, in the frying pan because it's too big. So what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of go through it, the process. It's just what I've literally just read off the, um, off the internet. Uh, but I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. I'm going to take it out of the, the wrapper and I'm going to let it rest and get up to room temperature. 
So I've took it out of its con uh, wrapping, um, and here it is. Look at the size of this. Um, now I am definitely in, in uncharted wa uncharted water here. Is that, is that the right word? Um, I'm definitely. Uh, it's it's a bit. It's a bit of a. It's a, it's a. It is a big lad. I'll be honest. It's a big one. Look at that bone. I've never had one of these in my life. Um, I've had ribeye steaks, but never had one of these. So this is going to be an absolute treat. So I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to let it rest, get up to room temperature, and then I'm going to season it, and then we're going to we're going to get it in the oven. It's been sitting for a bit now. I'm going to season it, and I got a lovely gift sent to me by Susie. Thank you very much for that gift, Susie. And another top tip as well. You know when it's when it's all sticking. When I when I did me video me barbecue video, I got lovely comments saying put some rice grains in it, and it stops it sticking. So that's a good tip. So anyway, this is hopefully this is okay. This one. I'm just going to season it with salt. I put it on this rack. Um, I'm just going to lightly oil it. I've salted it, and now it's going to go in the oven, 200 degrees. It's had um, half an hour now in the oven. I'm just going to get the old temperature probe in and see what temperature we're uh, we're looking at. So let's just get it right in the centre there. It's it's not ready yet. I can feel it. It's not ready at all. It probably needs about another fifteen minutes. So we're looking at thirty six degrees centigrade. I want it. I want it up to about fifty seven, fifty eight. So it's it's not done. It, we'll, we'll we'll put it back in. So as you've guessed, uh, I'm no chef. And I'm no cook. I'm just a normal uh, normal bloke just spimbling through life. Um, so if you've got any tips out there of what I should be doing and shouldn't be doing, please let me know. I, and, and there's probably lots of um, lots of lovely people out there who are chefs. And actually, some of them send me comments as well. Um, Kerry and Archdeacon, they're chefs. Um, so please let me know what I'm doing right and doing wrong with this tomahawk steak, my first one. Um, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. So it's, it's 10 minutes and nearly up. I'm going to get it out now and give it another probe in. Right, let's get the old probe in again. It's a, it's a bit more browned off now. Um, C, so that's C. So we'll go straight in there. Oh. 48, 51, 52, 54, 55, 56. Can you hear the cooker? You can't, you can't even see the gauge, can you? Oh, I do apologise. It's around 57. I'm just going to turn it over and give it a few more minutes. So I've been probing it, and it's it's around fifty-eight because it's a bit of a it's, a it's a big old steak. This and I'm just it's going to stay out now. I'm going to leave it out. Fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Um, and that that according to the old um, tinternet is a. Uh, Medium rare. 54. 56. Right, I'm going to get it out now. And I'm going to let it rest. Cover it with foil. I'm going to let it rest. So I'll do that now. That oh, that's hot. It's having it. I'll put it on there. I'll get rid of this. And all I'll, all I'll do is cover it with foil like that. Look. That's all I'm doing. I'm just going to let it rest now. I'll have a good rest. Can't wait any longer. I'm out my oven. Um, it's had about 20, 25 minutes, and you can still see the steam coming off it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop it now. And um, this isn't blood as well, by the way. It's myoglobin. I've just done a bit, been doing a bit of research. It's um, the protein in the in the the tissue breaking down. I think so. The old uh, tinternet was telling me. So let's get this on here, and I'm not going to waste all them juices neither because they're going back over it. I'm going to pour that. I'm going to cut it up now. And I just hope it's. I hope it's done. If it's not done, it's going in the frying pan. I'm going to going to give it a good fry in the frying pan. So let's uh, let's get this cut now. What I need now is uh, that that world famous uh, guy who does the old uh, salt. Do you know? Have you seen that guy who does the old salt? He goes like that with the salt. 
and sprinkles it all over. That's what I need. I'm just going to chop it up anyway. I hope you can see okay there. Let's, so let's get this end off. Oh, I've got a feeling it might want more. I've got a feeling it might want more, but... <clears throat> Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. There's a bit of gristle in there. A bit of... Better watch the old pinkies here. Oh, yeah. I think this is... I think this is looking good. Yes. Oh, I was... I was so... Have a look at that. I mean, I've not cut all the way through yet, but... Look at that. Let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. That's the inside. It looks more pink actually on camera than it is. It looks a lot more pinker on camera. But have a look at that. I'm happy with that. Um, I am happy. I'm happy with that. 45 minutes. 200 degrees. So there it is. Have a look. See what you think. It looks a lot more pinker on um, camera than it is actually. I'm going to try it now. It's having it. It's having it. <laughs> it's not going any longer. I like it medium rare. I don't mind it rare. I like me fillet steaks blue. But I like um, medium rare. But well, let's see what that's like. Mmm. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, it's gone. That is lovely. I mean, it is tasty. It really is. Um, it's I've, I've seasoned both sides. I've not put any pepper on. I just wanted some salt on it. I know you can put rubs and that all on there. But it's it's a ribeye steak. It is soft and it is, it's not chewy. And... Well, one kilo, what is that, about 30, 35 ounces, something like that. But you've got the bone as well, but apparently the bone keeps the moisture in. I like the end bits. I like the uh, end bits. Mm. I mean... It's, it's like a, it's a joint of meat, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not, you know, I mean, if this came with chips and a couple of fried eggs, you, you know, well, I, I could eat it. I'd get through it. I would get through it. But it's a treat. It's an absolute treat for me. I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut it all up now. Um, and it's going to get, when my wife comes on from work, she will um, get into it. Probably, probably put it in a, in a baguette or something like that. So it's just a, something different. Um, it was it was a treat, and um, uh, yeah. And if I wasn't doing these videos, I probably would never ever get one. I wouldn't ever try one. But you've got to try new things. That's what I always try and instill in my own brain is just to try new things all the time. Um, because if you don't try things, you'll never know, will you? And you won't learn. And you just yeah, just variety is a spice of life. I say. And if you don't get out, you don't live. Anyway, I'm going off on one here. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate now I'm going to get into this more. It's still steam coming off it. It's been about half an hour now. I've been taking photographs and doing all sorts with it. Like, um, yeah, running around the garden with it. So take care. All the best. I'll catch you on the next one.